Hey, and welcome back. I'm gonna share with you 25 things that I just don't buy. Some of these things are weird, but all of these things, if you don't buy them, not only is it gonna save you money, but I promise you, you will never miss them. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I used to really struggle financially. I was bad with money. I'm impulsive. And even when I kind of got my life under control, I claimed bankruptcy in my early 20s. We didn't have money for a very long time. We were definitely living paycheck to paycheck, so we cut out a lot of things. We just didn't buy stuff, and we still don't buy those things today. I do buy too much on Amazon, so I'm not talking about like frugal living. These are real things that you're probably buying that I promise you, you won't miss, and it's just extra money in your pocket. I'm starting with the one that people find the most odd. And I know this because people will come to my house and say, you don't have this? This is weird, Cass. And my mother-in-law will come and buy us these things in bulk. And that is Kleenex. We just don't buy Kleenex. We don't have it in our house. We've never bought Kleenex. If we need to blow our nose, which we don't very often, we use toilet paper. And people find this weird, but I do not have boxes and boxes of Kleenex in my house and I don't miss it. I've never used it. I, I don't know why it's a thing. Why can't you use toilet paper? Anyways, I'm not judging. I'm just, this one I think is the weirdest thing that I've just never bought and never will buy, which leads me to the second one, which is paper towels and paper napkins. Sometimes we'll buy a roll of paper towels, but we don't use it on a daily basis. We hardly ever use it. And in fact, 99% of the time we have zero paper towels in the house or paper napkins. We don't use them at dinner, which I know is something that a lot of people do. We'll just wash our hands when we're done eating. So I don't, is this weird? I think some people would find this very odd, but this is just something that we don't buy. The third thing that we don't buy that is a little controversial is bulk groceries. So I don't buy anything in bulk, including bathroom products. So if it's like get one, thing of toothpaste and six are free, you know, like the Costco pack or going and just buying big cases of food or, or toilet paper. We just don't do that in this house. Not only do we not have the space, we have a small house, we don't have the storage, but also I, if I have a lot of inventory, I forget what I have and I'm not actually saving money because things are expiring or I'm rebuying things and I just find it's more work. So I do not buy anything in bulk. Another thing that we don't really buy that people find odd is aluminum foil, cellophane, plastic baggies, things like that. We will occasionally use like cellophane, plastic wrap, but maybe once a year I'll buy one. It's really never tin foil either and we don't use plastic baggies. We generally put everything into our food storage containers. Even when the kids are taking stuff to school, we have them in the house. I have like a fancy organizer, but um, it's basically empty and I haven't bought any in over a year. So I go to people's homes when I'm organizing and they'll have drawers and drawers filled with tin foil and parchment paper and plastic wrap and they're getting it from Costco. So there's like six rolls and so many different like plastic baggies. We just don't have that stuff in the house. And honestly, I never ever miss it. The next is bottled water and juice boxes. We have kids, but we use filtered water out of the fridge and I don't do the whole juice box thing. It's just so much trash. And honestly, we would buy them when they were on sale. They would fill up the fridge and nobody was really accessing, like nobody was really using them. And so we just don't buy bottled water and stop. There will never be bottled water in our house because it's free from the tap. You know what I'm saying? And we'll get maybe like a jug of juice and just put it in a glass. So we, if we want to take it to school, they'll pour it in a reusable water bottle. So those sort of like disposable drink things, we do buy pop, but otherwise we just don't buy it. I get so much hate for this next one, but we don't buy greeting cards ever. 
I do not like giving people a card with their gift because I don't like receiving cards because I just throw them in the trash and they're like $5 at Hallmark. And even if you're going to the dollar store, save your dollar. I don't want the greeting card. So I don't put that on other people only because I've decluttered so many homes where people have kept every single greeting card out of guilt and it's adding up to clutter. And I don't ever wanna burden anyone with that. If you wanna write a nice handwritten note or, you know, I don't just, just skip the commercial greeting card and do something that has more thought. I just think you're gonna save money and you're really gonna help other people not have that buildup of guilty clutter. I never buy kitchen gadgets. So I don't have melon ballers and salad spinners and rice cookers and fancy methingamer doodles that do one thing. I just don't do that because I don't have really the space. And also, I've again, I feel like I'm traumatized from all the decluttering I've done in people's homes. It's shocking how full and cluttered a kitchen can be with gadgets that you never ever use. There's like a thing that you put your you put your orange on and you twist it and like some orange juice or something comes out. No one's using that. There's a million different ways to like curl your carrots and do all these things and food processors and stuff like it's all collecting dust. It's a huge waste of money. It's not making cooking easier and it is filling up your house. So I just don't buy it. This next one I probably should buy, you guys. I probably should, but I don't. I think I want to, but I'm lazy. And that is any type of spa treatment. So facials, manicures, pedicures, massages. I've had two massages my entire life and I did not love them. So I just don't treat myself. I probably should, but it is something that my parents never spent money on. I've never spent money on these things. And so I rarely even get my hair done. I should, I should. I guess this is part of self care, but I know for a fact that I save a ton of cash just not doing any of that stuff. I never buy name brand clothing ever. And I would honestly say 75% of my clothing comes from Goodwill. I love Goodwill. I love buying clothes from a thrift store because here's why. I go into the thrift store, it's got tons of selection, but everything that I can see, if it's not wrinkled on the hanger, I know it's not gonna wrinkle in my house too. Like this stuff has been washed a million times. If it still looks good, I'm really confident that that's a good quality piece of clothing. And so I love shopping at Goodwill for that reason. Fast fashion today, it shrinks, the colors run. Um, it just gets really wrinkled. So I love just going old school at Goodwill. I just really enjoy it. I feel like it's the thrill of the hunt. You're going through the thrift store. You've only got $20 in your pocket, you know, song. Anyways, um, it's fun. It's fun. And I know everything that I buy is going to still look good after I wash it. So I'm saving money and I'm having a really good time. One thing that I stopped buying when Isabel was in grade one or two was school pictures. School pictures are so expensive and you get like the class photo for free, but then you know the pose where they're like looking like this or they're like this and there's books in the background and it's so expensive and then you get two poses maybe and a bunch of wallets that grandmothers don't want. I just do not buy school pictures ever at all. Instead, we every year in September, instead of school photos, we hire a photographer to do a mini photo shoot. It's around $200, but we get family photos and photos of the dogs and photos of the kids together and tons of poses. We get hundreds of photos for less than it would cost for school photos and you're getting just a better thing. So I would definitely recommend this if you are like, oh, you've got so many School photos with the books in the background, stop and look at a local photographer instead. Speaking of kids, one thing that I stopped buying that I'm so glad I did was craft kits or art kits. I used to get this because I thought it would entertain my kids. So it's like a kit to learn to crochet or a painting kit or whatever. There's just so many and they would never be used or like a piece of it would be used, but you keep the whole kit. It adds up to clutter. They're super expensive, more money than it would be to just go and buy the supplies that you need. And it just, yeah, it was a huge waste. So no art kits, no craft kits, none of that huge waste of money. And it's a huge waste of space in your house too. 
I'd like to take a second to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Spring is crazy busy, especially because I'm getting the outside ready and I'm spring cleaning, so I don't want to spend a ton of time cooking and meal planning, so I love that HelloFresh takes care of all of that for me. I don't have to go to the grocery store, I don't have to think about what's for dinner because HelloFresh takes care of that for me. I get pre-portioned, delicious meals delivered right to my door with step-by-step -step instructions, so putting this together is like I'm in a cooking class. I'm not great in the kitchen, but HelloFresh makes it easy and with 40 recipes to choose from, there's such a huge variety. It always turns out incredible and my kids love them all too. And right now you can save 50% off. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my promo code CLUTTERBUG50 to get 50% off plus free shipping on your first box. That's HelloFresh.com, promo code CLUTTERBUG50 for 50% off plus free shipping on your first box. Some of you might find this super weird, but I do not own disinfecting wipes. Lysol wipes, Lysol spray, we don't buy that stuff. And we don't buy it because it really isn't very effective on killing germs. And this has been proven. You have to like basically have a disinfecting being like wet on the surface for a long time to actually kill the germs. And so Lysol wipes are just an expensive way to like get a clean. I'd rather just use some dish soap on a rag if I'm going to clean something or, you know, yeah, yeah, microfiber cloth. I just don't buy Lysol wipes. I don't find them more convenient. I don't like the smell. They streak your surfaces and they're a huge waste of money, in my opinion. If you buy them, I'm not judging. I'm just saying I don't miss them and you won't either. And that kind of leads into the next thing that I don't buy, which is a bunch of different cleaning supplies. I used to be a cleaning supply junkie. I would go to Walmart and I would beeline to the cleaning aisle and I'd get like the Mr. Clean. Ooh, there's new foaming cleansers and different kinds of sponges and all the fancy things. And I'd have hardwood floor cleaners and I'd have laminate cleaners and I'd have granite polish for my countertop. Why was I? It's ridiculous. I, I, it's like you clean, now you have to search for the right cleaner. And most of the time they were garbage and they didn't even work. And I was spending so much money. Now I have one product that I like. That's it. I have like hardly any cleaning supplies in my house on a given day. And I'm happy about that. Totally, seriously, stop buying all the gimmicky gadgets when it comes to cleaning supplies. You're going to save so much money. You're going to save space, but more importantly, it's going to be easier to clean your house. This next one I feel like is pretty common, but I've never owned a new vehicle. Just never. I always buy my cars used. Joe as well, like he really wanted a truck a few years ago, but the idea of buying brand new off the lot probably because I struggled financially, it just gives me heart palpitations. Like it's so stressful. So we find demos that people have driven or we had an SUV once that fell off the back of a truck. It was technically new, but it had fallen off the back of the transporting truck, you know, and smashed the back. And we were like, yeah, it's fine. We saved like five grand. And so that technically was a new vehicle, but it had been in an accident. I just, I don't want to drive off the lot and lose $5,000 in the first 60 seconds. That feels like it hurts my heart. So yeah, my minivan was three years old when we bought it. I still have it. It's old than dirt and I love it. And for me personally, I just think brand new vehicles are a waste of money. So just like I don't buy new cars, I really don't buy brand new furniture very often either. A lot of my furniture is secondhand. I feel like, gosh, you're almost 45, man. It's time to get an, uh, some nice furniture. But again, it's that broke mindset. Almost all the furniture I try to find from Facebook Marketplace secondhand, I've never bought expensive furniture in my life, which leads to the next thing. I don't buy expensive jewelry either. I don't own any fancy jewelry, not even earrings. Everything's costume jewelry, which I'm cool with because I lose it where I break it, I forget where I put it, and I've dropped like earrings down the drain, I've taken them off in the bathroom, so I just don't spend money on expensive jewelry either. And lottery tickets. When I was a kid, my dad used to tell me that lottery tickets were taxes for the stupid. 
I know that's so mean, but I'm just going to because here in Canada, when you buy a lottery ticket, it goes to the government. The money goes to the government. And so he always said that to me. He's like, it's taxes for the stupid. And I just think about that. So I, I don't buy lottery tickets and I don't, I don't gamble. We don't have cable TV. We don't have satellite TV. Even before Netflix in the old school in days, we just didn't pay for that. It's so expensive. Uh, and I totally don't miss it. Another thing that I never pay for is a repair person. So I break our dishwasher a lot. My Roombas have broke, like so many things have broken down, whether it's the stove, the fridge, the washing machine, YouTube University, man. YouTube will walk you through step-by-step -step how to fix anything. We've saved so much money. I've taken things apart. I have lost the occasional screw. We just hope and pray when I put it back together, it works. But I have fixed, I, I, me, this girl, with zero ability to do any kind of fixing, I fix the dishwasher, I fix the dryer, I fix multiple Roombas, and I'm also like proud of myself, but I'm saving a ton of cash. You have to like look up if something's broken before you call a handyman, go to YouTube University and look it up. We don't buy party supplies anymore. I used to, oh my God, every time the kids had a birthday party, I would get the matching plates and the napkins and the, and the banners and the balloons and what? Then you have like six plates left over and you keep them for some reason and you have all these different party themed plates all, stop it. That was such a waste of money. Even if you're getting them from the dollar store, it's like, just get plain, Paper plates, if you're going paper plates, like I just don't buy that type of party supply stuff anymore and I don't miss it. And I just felt it added up to waste and clutter. So this one kind of a little bit maybe controversial, but I don't buy souvenirs when I travel anymore. I used to, Joe and I would travel when we were first married and I remember getting like big statues from Mexico and I got, you know, the Big Ben when we went to England. I just don't really want that stuff in my house. I'd rather have the photos as the memory and not the actual physical clutter. And then what do you do with it? Do you put it in a memory bin? Do you donate it? And then you feel guilty. So I just stopped getting souvenirs. I don't get souvenirs for my kids either. If I do travel without them to someplace cool, I might pick them up candy from that place to bring back, something they can actually eat and they can sort of see the candy that they have in different cultures, which is really fun but it isn't something they're going to feel obligated to hold on to for years that they don't really like either. I don't buy newspapers. I don't buy magazines. I used to be a magazine junkie. I couldn't go through a checkout without like getting a house and home. Um, what a waste of money. There's like nothing in them. A couple of pictures, go on Pinterest, go on Instagram. You're going to have better photos and you can keep that seven bucks. And honestly, who's reading an old school newspaper? You can read the news online. Okay, so this one isn't something I'm like, I don't want to get preachy with you, but I don't buy alcohol. Not only do I not drink, Joe doesn't drink, but we don't have alcohol in the house for guests most of the time, which is sometimes really awkward. We don't entertain enough to justify having it in the house without it going bad and then we're not drinking so we don't buy it so anyways we if i invite someone over i'm like it's like be, bring your own beer bro because we don't have anything we might have a bud light in the fridge that's definitely 12 years old and super disgusting but probably just bring your own alcohol and there's no judgment we just we just don't buy it. Alcohol's pricey, especially if you're buying it for a party that you're having and then you never drink that stuff again and it sits for a really long time just collecting dust. It's a waste of space and a waste of money. Okay, so we're almost done, but this is a big one. I have saved thousands and thousands of dollars just saying no to this. And that's extended warranties. Every time you buy something, whether it's electronics or anything, I bought a like a curling iron for my hair before. And at the checkout, they were like, do you want the extended warranty for that? It's $24.99. And I'm like, I just am spending 30 on this curling iron. Like they try to give you extended warranties on everything, whether it's a car or a television. And it's such a waste of money because most appliances or things that you buy, your car, it comes with a warranty anyways. So that extended warranty is just a cash grab. And I have never in my life ever 
used a warranty for something. Like nothing has ever broken that I needed the extended warranty. So I know for a fact that I have saved but tons of money just saying no. And the last thing that I do not spend money on, that I do not buy, is anything that's spend to save. So when you're at the grocery store and something will say like, buy four of these and get them for 99 cents or whatever, you know, like, or buy two, get one free, but you really only wanted one in the first place. I just say no to that because it is a marketing ploy that is just trying to take your money or buy two, get one, like all of that. Just anytime you have to spend more money than you intended to in order to save money, it's taking your money. Just don't. Just buy the one thing. Trust me on this. And oftentimes at the grocery store, this is the worst thing. It lies to you. The sign will say if you buy three or more, you're going to get them for 99 cents each. But the truth is, if you only buy one, it's still going to be 99 cents. And so they're kind of manipulating you into buying more than you want to in the hope that you're going to save money when in fact, you're just spending more. I would totally love to know in the comments below what you don't buy anymore, what the things that you just don't spend money on, especially if people find it weird, like Kleenex, things that you just don't have in your house that maybe the average person does. Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. So I'm excited about this. I have recently signed up to volunteer for St. John's Ambulance to become a medical first responder because I love all things medical. I get real excited. I've watched Grey's Anatomy. I've watched House on Repeat. I go on like WebMD and just research medical conditions. I feel like House. I feel like I can diagnose people. It's my favorite thing to do. So this, this medical first responder course, we literally go and we learn all about saving a life, which is on my bucket list. But we also run scenarios where it's like you walk into the room, there's an old lady laying on the ground. Sometimes it's a volunteer pretending that she's unconscious. Sometimes it's a mannequin. And then I got to save the person. So I have to run through the checklist, the primary, the secondary. I always forget something. And Alex, who's the instructor, is like, you killed another person, Cass, which happens. But also, sometimes I get a little overly eager. So when I'm doing my secondary check and I check the pupils, one of his pupils, Alex was like, one is really big and one is really small. I'm like, get the drill. They've got a brain. He's like, you are St. John's Ambulance Volunteer. You can't drill into someone's head. You'll go to prison, Cass. Or the time that there was an elderly lady in the scenario and I was like, give her Narcan. She's definitely ODing. And Alex is like, she's like 95. Please don't Narcan her until you've called 911 and the real paramedics are coming. So I'm not sure if they'll actually ever let me loose to save someone because I get a little overexcited, but I am having the best time. I'm learning so much. Like you cannot drill holes in random people's heads. Even if you think they have a brain bleed, that is illegal. And also I am not allowed to trach someone because they could just have their tongue in the way blocking their airway and don't necessarily need a trach. So I'm whipping out that pen and a blade. No, do not trach random people, Cass. <clears throat> But that being said, if you have a St. John's Ambulance near you who are looking for volunteers, I 100% recommend it. Not only do you have the opportunity to learn CPR and first aid skills, it is so fun. It's so educational, but it's also an incredible thing to do for your community. Reach out. Yeah, if this interests you, if you're listening to this, you're like, that sounds fun. It is fun. Also, St. John's Ambulance would love to have you. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.